so I'm just just have it. Just it's okay, it's okay. We can't all be experts okay. at the game. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> all right, you can drive it then, Mike. <laughs> cool. So I guess the long-awaited Lexus LFA. It's cool. We've got the uh, Active Aero up already. Oh, Chris, sorry. you had some really good facts about the uh, the dials in this one, didn't you? Yes, yeah, so it was one of the first cars to use an LCD. Uh, display and Lexus's reason for it was the engine can rev so quickly because it has such a lack of inertia that it um, was outpacing the analog gauges so they had to move to something more digital that could actually keep up with the way it was revving. Um, it's really cool the way it's got the, the stages of illumination so it's just white when you're revving normally and then you get towards the optimum shift point and it goes green and then you over rev it and it goes red and if you'd seen that in a real one, you'd probably be slightly worried, yeah. wouldn't you? But it's, uh, it's a very high revving engine. It is, yeah. yeah. It is. It's, it's also a very different V10 to things like the Lamborghini and the Audi V10. Um, very different sound, which I think our audio guys have done a great, great, great job capturing. In fact, it's the, the audio asset is a Lexus LFA, um, especially worked up for this car, and it really captures the, the kind of the raw character of that V10. Yeah, so a completely bespoke car. The engine, everything, not shared with any other Toyota yep. or Lexus. They made it specially for this car as like an engineering exercise. Yeah. And it led to the car being quite expensive, but also like no compromise for the driving experience. It's considered even you know, you're just right, there's a real drift on the stick, isn't <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, it's like straight, 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 straight. No, we're going right now. <laughs> so, See, I wasn't kidding you. Yeah, They're yeah. just praising the Lexus LFA's handling and like. Yeah. <laughs> These dev controllers, the they, they the see a lot of yeah, yeah, this has definitely been uh, borrowed from QA. Yeah. Yeah, uh, definitely <laughs> lost a few Eliminator matches. By gripping by a very small amount of time. Yeah. Like, but yeah. Um, yeah. This is even to this day. This is regarded as one of the greatest cars ever built. I think it's one of Jeremy Clarkson's favorite cars mm. still. Mm. And he's a man that gets to drive every amazing car. And they've said they don't want to build another one, or at least not in the near future. No. So its status is very much like yeah. cemented in car culture and, and history. Yeah. I'd, I'd argue they they don't need to either. Exactly. It still they looks so fresh yeah. as well, considering how old the design is. I, I think the I can't remember exactly. You have to. Me, but the, the project started in about 2000, yeah. wow. and wow. like so, that's now a 20 year old design, effectively. Yeah, yeah it doesn't look it. Does in it? fact, no. um, they actually they had a full working prototype, but it was before carbon fiber was still uh, was, was something it's that was like actually feasible. Usable, option, yeah. yeah, and then once that became something that you, they could actually manufacture, they they pretty much binned off the whole pro project to go back to something that was mainly carbon fiber construction. Oh, wow. So that's that's the kind of time scale they. They just kept going until what they, it was what they deemed to be perfect, and I think I think they managed it. It's it's yeah. a timeless car as well because they didn't go for the high performance numbers. They tried to make something that's so amazing to drive. So it's what's called lift neutral. Um, it doesn't make downforce. It doesn't make um, any lift. It's actually a very hard thing to do aerodynamically. But what it means is the grip you have is all about its mechanical grip. Um, so it makes it incredibly easy to read and, and drive. Yeah. It's a car that I don't think we'll see many like it ever again. So like, different from the rest of the portfolio as well yeah. uh, for Lexus and, and Toyota. Yeah, so thank you Toyota for yeah, letting us have it back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, really for a while, didn't it? It really like, just raised the cool factor of the entire Lexus range. Because yeah. like, you couldn't afford or even get if you could afford it an LFA, but it makes you look at the, the, the badge with uh, yeah. A bit more of a cool factor. And even yeah, to this absolutely. day, you can still see that kind of ethos still lingering in, in Lexus's. The, the uh, IS, I, I, ISF is one of the last not only aspirated V8 cars going. Um, whenever it, all its competitors have now gone forced induction, they've kept with that high revving V8. Um, yeah, this did a lot of uh, development work at the Nurburgring as well. And it was always really cool to watch them developing that. It sort of brought that to the attention of a lot of people yeah. that all these manufacturers were. Developing all these amazing cars on that amazing circuit. They did a Nurburgring special edition, yeah. didn't they? It was a very interesting shade of orange. Yeah. Which I probably wouldn't buy my LFA in. I, I, I love it in the white or the blue, the, the kind of deep metallic blue it comes yeah. in. Love the triple tailpipe. Oh, yeah. you, had a, you had an interesting <laughs> one on that earlier, didn't you? Oh yeah, you? yeah. I, I read today that um, apparently the exhaust is stored within a transmission tube on the car. So rather than sort of finding the available gaps and running to the back of the car, it, it follows the transmission down down this tube in the centre. So I guess that might explain why it has those 
central three exits. It looks great. It does, and I imagine that contributes to the sound as well as a mm. yeah. really interesting, Okey unique V10. And players can get this in summer for completing 50% of the festival playlist. So that will be available from, I guess, I guess this Thursday. That's right. So as soon as the season changes, you'll be able to get your hands on this.